Hey guys, it's Perry Rebecca, and I'm here with another video. Today, I'm going to teach you how to be making prank poop. So, um, to make prank poop, this one's super simple, but I already did some of it, so that this video won't be that long. So the thing you need for prank poop is a basin that you can put water in. And a toilet paper roll. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do, and I already did this, first thing you're gonna do is wet the toilet paper roll, we'll fill up the basin with water. like a half full. And then you're going to take your toilet paper roll and dip it inside, like dip one end inside for 10 seconds, and then dip the other side in for 10 seconds. And then take it out and rip it up into like pieces that only fit, like I'm a kid, so only about an inch long pieces, an inch wide, an inch long. So then you're going to take all the ripped up strips and put them in the water, which I'm doing right now. I'm gonna put the camera. Okay, and it looks like this. And then there's four left, so I'm gonna pick those up, put them in the bucket. Now at this point, it's starting to look a little bit gross. See? Okay, so you're gonna let the things sit in there for 10 seconds and kind of push them around a little bit. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, so now you just take some out and like Take it in your hand and squeeze it together over the basin. And it will form kind of a like thing. You could dip it in some more water if you would like. And this actually looks like poop. So then you're gonna take the rest of the strips that are inside and then smush them together. This is like a super easy prank poop recipe. If you're gonna prank someone that did something mean to you or at school, you could like get a piece of toilet paper and slide it under the bathroom floor. Okay, so now you're gonna take these two pieces and you could just like leave them separate, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make an advanced kind of poop. I'm gonna like push them together. It kind of sticks. Like this, so that it's kind of like a curve. Done. do this so that you can see. And it looks like actual poop. But is it actually just cardboard? So basically, um, there's some more strips. If you want to make it look realistic, you have to have two. Two. 
So then you're going to take the rest of the strips and move them around. Okay, move it around. Okay, and then like get like a kind of like a ball shaped thing, but like a little bit. And make sure you're squeezing the water back into the basin. Wet it a little bit more if it's bad. Ooh, I got some water on the camera. Okay, so now it like looks like this. At the end, I'll put them on the toilet and see how like it is. And you can make a smaller one. Okay, you have to get all of the strips out. And then just keep like smushing them together. This video is like really long because it has to be good. So then you're gonna dip it in some more water. Okay, see there's just like a little tiny thing. Okay, so advice. Look at this water. It's very cloudy and murky, so do not drink it after you've made the poop with the water. Pour it back into the sink. Oop, there was one left and it went down the drain. And then you're gonna get some fresh water. See the difference between the murky water and the fresh water? And then you can get a spoon and kind of mix it around. cleaning it okay so now you can see this right okay so this is like the top of the cup see this is the top top okay so now we're going to take the three Oops. And lay them out on the cup, but put it like so no one can see them. So like, cause if like the person that you're gonna do it on sees it. Oh, also one more thing. This part is optional, but it's starting to get hard already kind of weird. So this part's optional, but you can do it because it makes it better. If you want to, you can get some, um, some body wash and make sure, actually not this one, it's bad. Make sure that it doesn't have like like a good smell. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use this Vaseline Intensive Care Skin Repair. I'm just gonna put a little bit on each one. So it's like lotion, but it literally has no smell. Okay. Okay, so now that you put it on, take them. Put it like, and get a little bit of water. And it actually lightens the brown to make it look more realistic.
got kind of just like want to move it around. Squish it in there. <laughs> after, like I know it looks like fake right now, but after it dries, it will be good. Believe me, I've done this recipe before. Actually, I made this one up myself, so. Just get it and like rub it around. Okay, so now we have, now we have our three proofs. And yeah, so you're going to let these dry for about an hour and then you can use them. So thanks for watching this video. Bye.